Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another uh, Marvel Legends uh, toy review on Series 6 uh, Phoenix. Which is like the only Phoenix figure, but this is the green version, and there's also a uh, variant Dark Phoenix. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this uh, review uh, due to uh, review request. I had quite a few review requests. And I'm also doing this review uh, live on uh, Blog TV. So I got Ghetto Gypsy, uh, Avengers Forever 1, Naruto Boy 073, Solid Snake in His Pants, and I got Action Figure Expert, a.k.a. Soundwave. <clears throat> so they're all watching me uh, do this review live, which um, I hope isn't too boring. So, <laughs> But, um... Yeah, this uh this is a really fucking kick-ass figure and a very essential figure for anybody that um that's collecting uh the X-Men. Um there's uh what to say first. The paint job is 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 okay but not really detailed, which is kind of a trip because um a lot of the figures coming around this point had really detailed paint jobs, but this one doesn't really have that going on. Um like starting with the legs, you can see like the legs are pretty much um, just a just solid yellow. There's not a whole lot going on, but um, it's really really fine in the plastic. I mentioned this before for a couple of the other Marvel Legends figures that they have this kind of glittery type of shimmer inside the plastic or the paint. I don't know what it is, but you can't really see it on camera. But it kind of has like a glittery glittery type of effect on it, which is pretty cool. You know, like, same thing with the arms, too. But it's just a solid yellow. And then the green, um, same type of thing, but not as much. Uh, kind of has, uh, it doesn't really have that glittery, oh, well, yeah, it kind of has a glittery thing going on in it, too. So, yeah, but th there's no um, paint detail. That's my point, though. And, um, you know, I like the Phoenix logo right here on the front. I think that's pretty cool. And the face is really tight. Um, one difference, I don't have the uh, Dark Phoenix variant, but I've seen it enough in person. Um, the Dark Phoenix variant, her eyes aren't colored green, they're just white. So she's like totally, you know, in her um, crazy Phoenix mode. Um, I, I really like what they did with the hair. I think the hair really matches the likeness of the character a lot. And, uh, and, it's got detailing in here. It's got like this kind of brown mixed in with this orangish red color going throughout the hair. So I think the, you know the most paint detail is actually in the hair itself. Um, and this uh, this waistband thing is very very cool. It's made out of the same exact uh, rubbery type of plastic as Storm's cape. So it's you know it's like stretchy and flexible. So that's pretty cool. It's not removable or anything, and it and a very very nice detail right here is um, I wish I had a better camera so you could see it, but she's got this little gold phoenix logo right here as like a belt clip type of thing, so that's very very neat, and you can see it's it, it's very much the same logo as this, but right here, so that's pretty cool, and um, yeah, so as far as paint detail, and you know, there's no real detail on the black up here or anything they're all solid colors um the articulation of the figure is pretty badass it's uh you know because the hair is so big her head doesn't move back much at all but it does move down moves side to side okay you just gotta shift things around to you know because the hair is so fucking big you know it's this really big chunky head of hair that she's got here um the shoulders she's got dual sh shoulder joints so you can see it move right here, and then plus the ball joint right there. Bicep turns, and then there's an extra mid-bicep joint right there, which is a little different, I think. So she has a bicep right there, and a second bicep joint. So dual bicep joints, right? Double elbow, jo uh, double elbow joints. She's got a forearm joint right in the middle of the forearm. It twists. Wrist moves up and down. And then the fingers, they uh, the fingers clamp and close all together. So that's kind of neat. And the thumb is stationary. Thumb doesn't move or anything like that. And, uh, let's see. Then the torso joint works pretty well. Moves up and down. Very nice. Waist joint, solid. She has ball joints, um, 
in her waist, and it makes her pretty flexible. You can move out and forward really well. She has this mid-thigh joint right here. And it's kind of tricky when you pose her, you want to keep track of where these spikes go, because, you know, this is part of um, the boot, you know? This is part of her thigh-high boots. So I really try to keep those in place and try to, like, imagine if it's real, like, where that would be, you know? I don't know. It's just the minor detail, not really. But, if, like, like if her leg's sticking straight up, the point of this thing's going to be pointing up, not off to the side or anything. So I, I don't know. I just keep track of that. Uh, I do have some paint wear. So the paint will come off if you're not careful with it. A little bit of paint, and you can see it's green plastic underneath. But it's pretty thick paint. Double jointed knees. And uh, she does have calf joint right there. Ankle joint doesn't really move. It moves up and down. It doesn't move side to side, but it moves up and down. And the toe joints work well. And she's got um, hole pegs at the bottom of, uh, bottom of her feet. Um, in case you want to put her on other bases, but she comes with a base that doesn't require her to, uh, use, um, the hole pegs at all. And this is the base that she comes with, is this Phoenix Flame right here, which is very, very fucking cool. I really think this is amazing. I really like this thing. Now this one I actually got from Bug Nice 10 because I broke my original one, so to give you guys a warning, if you're not careful enough, you can break this plastic clip thing right here. I think what I had done, um, I don't know exactly how I broke it. I can't really remember, but I think it may have been from pushing it into the wall or something. I, I don't know, but I do know if you're not careful with it, it will uh, it, it will break. So thanks again to Bugnice10 for hooking me up with this thing. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so you can, and then this is a really cool feature that they have here because it stands like this, right? And it, and it has two... Uh, push pin holes so you could put a push pin right through here and then if you want to so you could have it against the wall like that or you can you know tilt it this way and it's got another push pin hole right there so you can so that the way I have her set up is like this against the wall and I think it's very cool looking so I'm very happy with that and then this clip holds her pretty well you know I had a uh, what I was doing before was I was making like this twisty tie thing to hold her in my broken one but, um, yeah, it holds pretty nice. And if you have her against the wall with this thing tilting down, you don't have to worry about the feet getting knocked by by this thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you have it standing straight up like this, like in your setup, like it's just standing straight up, I think it kind of looks weird. So it's always better to have her hanging on a wall, I think, so you could have the feet kind of pointing down freely like that. So, yeah, that's about all I got to say about Series 6 Phoenix. I know it's not really easy to get, and this is a chase figure, um, and then the Dark Phoenix one is much, much harder to get. I think that one's going to run you at least a hundred bucks, but I think this one was up at 40 bucks at some point, And then now I think it's relatively, you know, probably around 30 or something, or maybe even cheaper. But yeah, that's the, uh, Series 6 Phoenix figure. All right, guys, if you guys have any other requests, please put them in the, um, on my profile page as a comment, and I'll add it to the list on the left side. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.